Ladies and gents, guys and gals, friends and friends and fellows, all you shall be welcomed back now to a dangerous, dangerous time. Ard Gimilsor, conqueror of Pelargir. Journeys onward into Gondor. Well, journeys. Well, rampages is more of a, an appropriate verb, I suppose. But here we stand at Brethil, besieged for a couple of turns, and now in the grip of battle. Captain Nuri Nivnir. Um, comes with a larger force, with some Monrothian squires worthy of note, some Blackroot Vale archers, Ballastai, Lamed and Clansmen, you know, actually just pulling together of Gondorian thieves in effort of stopping us from attacking and annihilating for long the fat and his rather lowly guard. But who will win this bat this one? They are about almost uh, 200 men stronger than our force, and their quality should not be discounted completely. What we have in our favor is the skill, will, courage to survive and even thrive in the face of these odds. Let's see what the battle map brings us. Muster your courage, men. We march into battle. So, let's be quick about deploying. It seems that we at least have a pretty good hill to stand on here. That's nice. That now that the enemy comes and attacks us, we actually have a hill to defend. So, let's line up our wonderful, wonderful ranged units. You know, it's in such a manner that they may rain death upon our foes. Hmm. Let's also make sure they don't run away too far. Oh, oh. gee giblets. That was uh, me just accidentally hitting enter at a time that <laughs> wouldn't exactly merit uh, it, but I think we'll be alright. We'll run our troops over there. Maybe, maybe that's better for our cavalry and we can just keep our lovely leader. Gimbal card. No, Gimbal. Gimbal Zor. Gimbal Zor. That was it. I love to do the Gimbal Zor. On the left flank, our cavalry on the right. That is one saving grace of this army is that we have this Gondor cavalry militia, which has been leveled up to the heavens with uh, better weapons and three experience, giving them an attack of eight, which is pretty, pretty good. Um, and we shall look forward to seeing them in action. Now, my accidental misclick didn't hamper us completely, which is good. <laughs> they rushed out archers to try and um, put some pressure on us, but eh, you know, let's uh, let's run at them then. Oh, they have some ballistae gearing up for battle. Uh, okay, actually, yeah, Let, let's see what happens if we. Uh, okay, gondol militia coming in. Nope. Okay, now of course the general is right over here. And if we can take him out in an expertly made charge, then I will be pretty happy. Oh, let's see if we can dodge some of those. Nice. Nicely done, lads. Only you only got hit slightly. Of course there are some Black Root Veil archers, they're giving you grief, but our archers are giving them an inordinate amount of grief as well. Let's uh, see, can we start shooting at someone else too? Because if not, I'd like you to conserve your ammunition for a little while. And boom, that's a Bowser crew. Oh, ooh, 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 that's interesting. Ah, okay, damn it. They've basically tried to trap our cavalry. We shall have to pull ours back. Even though they would probably stand up pretty well in that fight, but not when the squires join in. So run away while you can. And here we have more cavalry militia. Ah, oh, yish. That hurt. Um. Oh, that was actually pretty well done of them. Okay. Their cavalry is now chasing ours, which we might be able to use to our advantage. No, 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 no. Only if our, ter if our territorial guardsmen do not 
see themselves engaged. Okay, let's try and see what we can do. Let's see what they can do, these guys. Ah, okay, they are just better than ours. But maybe if they're engaged in two spots, we can kind of hit them. There are more. Yes, yes, we made we them run. Yes. Like That's excellent. Again. Oh, actually, wow. Wow. <laughs> the entire army just runs. That's really, really good. It's really, really good. Really, really good. Okay, that's, uh... I mean, of course, it's not completely in the bag, but this helps us immensely. Uh, what can we do? What can we shoot, actually? Uh, ugh, armsman. Yeah, yeah, I know you want um, to kill those bastards. Uh, so do we. Don't you worry. Um, okay, territory guardsman. You should take those out. Oops. Oh, that general comes for our cavalry. Hmm. Let's see if our territory guardsman can push through and attack their horsemen. That would be excellent. Absolutely excellent. Uh, to say so. uh, looks like we've been charged in the rear by some thrifty cavalry militia. Hmm. Okay, what do we have? Territorial guardsmen. Yeah, let's just uh, let's just try. Oh, actually, let's shoot at the ones over there. Okay, how are we doing over here? We're actually doing all right. We're, we're taking them out. Our increased attack stat is helping us a lot. Um. Okay. Let's start shooting. Whenever we can, we'll start shooting the Lasana Gaxman with our crossbows. Yes! Excellent! Our spearmen over here did uh, what was asked of them. Took out their general. That will see us in very, very a very strong position. We don't have the best means of capitalizing upon uh, this mass route that we uh, just incurring, but you know. at least we are doing rather well. And now we have the infantry ready to overpower, uh, no, needed to overpower these Lasanic Axemen because, you know, they can uh, be beastly if they were to show up against uh, Gimel, uh, Gimel's or just but on his lonesome, but if supported by hundreds and hundreds of infantry units, then uh, the Sarnak Axemen and the armor and armor piercing um, traits will not be able to hold up as well. So that's where these lads come in. We'll just overwhelm them with numbers, basically. It's going to be the gist of it. Um. Okay, how are you doing? Once you're done with that Bowser crew, which should be soon enough, we can capitalize on the routing that we are currently seeing. Those archers have placed themselves right next to our infantry line, which is not very well advised. Um, it's pretty ill-advised, to be honest. Um. I guess if we could just run them down. Go on, Dominicia, go into those territorial guardsmen. What? They're winning? No, they're not. Okay. Okay, that's good. It's better. Thank you. Mm. How are you doing? Still shooting at the Lasana Axemen. And they are fighting bravely because, of course, they will be. They, this is the uh, one version with upgraded armor. Um, let's move them slightly just so as to give them a better angle from which. To or maybe just shoot at those guys because they're out in the open. Okay. Uh, nope! You're not going to be encircled by spearmen. Not today. Okay, how are you doing? You're just chasing down these. Go for the guardsmen then. Um, how's our cavalry doing? We lost a few, but we're doing okay. okay. Good. Um, you're going to be exhausted for the rest of the battle, basically. There's nothing much you can do about that. Um, but you can still be used for running down enemy forces. So let's get you 
on that. Maneuver you around a bit. And chase down those guardsmen, please. Okay. Man. <sighs> those are the Sonic Axemen. They're doing really, really well. A lot better than I want them to. Um, okay. Just driven those to flee. Um, those two are totally guardsmen and up to match. Okay, we still managed to kill quite a lot of them. Okay. Let's get you guys into a position where you can actually uh, sway the tide of battle and end those Lasana Axemen once and for all. While well, you guys... You can just chase down the archers over there. Just make sure they don't bother us. It's gonna be your job. You can shoot at them for now. He is very right about that. They shall all perish. Uh, what are you doing, cavalry militia? Why are you standing still? That's because you killed all those guys. Well done. Have some more. Okay. Ah, you're about to come into position. Oh, no, 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 no. Run away from the axes. Away from the axes, please. Ooh, there's some territorial guardsmen over there. there. Might be in need of a little round crossbow belt, don't you think? Come on. Get to it, you nimwits. What's your deal? Only half the enemy force remains. Hmm. Charge into them, just break them. Oh, they, <laughs> they just ran at the sight of us. But you know, that's okay. Damn the Sonic Axemen, they're just so damn good! Why are you so good? Come on, reload your crossbows, please. Come on, you... Why are you just standing there? I don't know what he's asking us to do. Is he asking us to shoot us? What? Just, just they're right there. Come on, shoot them, you okay. Um, what else can we do? Chase down militia. Come on, how are you doing? It's because you think you're in combat, is that it? With whom, might I ask? Oh, the god. Oh. Ah. Oh. Okay. Will that help you? You cretins. Nope. You still think you're in battle because of one dude, I suppose. Yeah, there you are. Uh, come on. Run that way. Thank you. Come on. Yeah, good. Come on. Your group is apparently completely lost without you. Nice. Okay, can you sh shoot them now? I mean, you're kind of missing your great window of opportunity. Um... Come on! Shoot! Use your damn crossbows! I mean, that's infuriating! Okay. Hmm. 
Oh uh, well. You down here though. Why are you? What can what what can we find? Can we find some suitable targets for you? Not really. Isn't there are no major troop movements over here, but there eh, some routing units. Six guys over there. Hmm. I'm just gonna speed this up. I'm slightly infuriated by uh, my crossbowman's obstinate refusal to take my orders seriously. But now we are whittling them down. Yeah, so are they, I suppose, so, um, keep it up. What about here? What do we have? Oh, a single person. Running the Archer Militia, one lad. Yeah. Okay. Basically meaningless in face of, uh, Fallon the Fats and his Lasanok Axeman. And there he goes. Excellent. Excellent. So that is an indicator of how important morale can be in this game, because we achieved victory by first neutering our numerically superior foe by routing their units, and then we were able to capitalize on a numbers advantage that we had cr made for ourselves, carved out in the heat of battle uh, to overwhelm Forlong and his more elite unit. So uh, yeah, all round a very very good showing. The crossbowmen, I'm still pissed at you though. Um, yeah, don't know what your deal was, but yeah. The cavalry militia did great though. As they bloody well should with that much experience. As was your warriors, really good. The archers generally hand them, handle themselves well, and the armsmen, yeah. I mean, all around a good showing from uh, this fighting force, I would say. And now, Brethil will be ours. Um, goodbye. And honor have conquered. Indeed, and we shall sack this place, I believe. And establish a raiders guild. How lovely. Alkford has been besieged. Our financials are doing better, which is good. And, um, hmm. Gondor has upgraded Fanwilon, so that is now also a pretty attractive target for invasion. We aren't very good friends with Rohan, but you know, yeah, what are you gonna do? We're kinda well, taking out their allies, so um, I'm not really surprised at uh, that turn of events. Mm. Let's continue sending lovely troops south. Ooh, like these, another the Wizigar. Hmm. So, what can we get here? We can get a conscription cab, which would be nice. Um, but I think at the moment, uh, we might uh, be in need of some population growth. So let's get on that. Okay, Brethil, how are we doing here? Dark Sanctuary. I think that is the best idea. And, uh, we can have some, uh, weapon armor upgrades, I, I assume? Oh, a Gondorian Stables. Um, yeah, don't mind if I don't. Um, Food and Way Station, though, that's actually pretty handy because it uh, reduces corruption, which is nice. Um, 
It increases public order, which is good, so it is useful, however limited. Oh, okay, we have to queue all those up again. Um, but we shall, we shall. Okay. Now, of course, uh, some attention must also turn to Dol Amroth. Because they are actually the ones fielding the more terrifying armies at this moment. Uh, they are going whole hog on Seaward Lancers and Nimrodel Mariners. It would be cool if Mordor were to just kind of do something about it, but I don't think that is their intention and can mm, probably not either. So, um, we should be able to fend for ourselves. Um, what we will need is units that can do well against armor and cavalry. First and foremost. So, crossbowmen can be good and warriors can be good. Spearmen will be even nicer, but what will be really, really great is when we get our army barracks completed with the our uh, Pharisons faithful pikemen. Heavy, heavy pikemen that will stop those cavalrymen in their tracks. We must, of course, make sure that we have the culture requirements fulfilled, which currently we do not actually, so I'm going to pencil in a dark temple just for now. Back to the True Sons, it gives us Gondor infantry, which is fine, but nothing spectacular. Um, hmm. So, let's see. Pelagia, what are you up to? Hmm. I think we might need a Dark Shrine. This will alleviate our population decline and also increase our cultural growth. Mundamir, you're on your way north. You should just continue through the remain <laughs> remains or the remnants of Gondor. We've taken from them their most prosperous heartlands. So, yeah. That's not going to bode well for them. As you wish. And a dark temple with its melee weapon bonuses and culture increases and yeah 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 things are indeed looking up let's see can we do something with our lovely little diplomats because you know question. As you wish. let's see if we can yes. talk to these candish peoples here. these candish tribes um where do we My send a spy and has a nerve okay let's see what they have in us to heal they have cavalry and they have Amandir, of course, of course. And then Istdor. Okay, let's see what Dalamroth does. They will probably invade our little fort. And if so, we shall have to fight them. Invade is indeed what they do, and they have a lot of cavalry, we have a lot of spears, so actually, we might be alright on this one. We'll see what they do, but uh, let's save the game, and ask the eternal question to Dolamroth, are you ready? Ah, uh, this is one of the nice faults, which is good. So... What will we be facing? We will be facing just a single column of enemies. Which is nice. That, that I think, is something we can deal with. So, let's put our crossbowmen here, that they may fire down upon our foes. Which shall enable their guard mode. Okay, and then... You know kinda torn on what to do with you guys. You can go over there, I think. Then we can have some territorial guardsmen over here, and then we'll have our general over there, where he will hopefully be 
relatively safe. Let's just make sure to place them properly. But yeah, that's it. And then I'll ask you guys to group up and defend that area as if your lives depend on it. Which, spoiler alert, they very much do. Um, let's aim for the sewer lancers if we can. Your aim will not be very effective until they get inside the walls, but I mean, it's still worth doing. Still worth trying. Oh, and you are succeeding. You are killing some of them. That's good. It's very good. It's very good indeed. For a lot of squires, though. But those lancers have some downright impressive stats and a strong defense and uh, yeah, it'll take a long time to take one of those down even for a spearman simply because our spearmen are you know not endowed with the greatest attack stats in the world to put it mildly show us but we have killed a lot of them until now and that's really really encouraging let's see what we can do here So here they come. And this is when the party really starts for you guys. Come on. Come on with your crossbows. Yes, that is very good. That is very good. Fire into them. Fire into their hearts. See what lancers. Take them out. Their heavy armor will be no match for crossbow bolts. Yes, 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 yes! I like this. I like this very much. A kill zone is what we have created here, ladies and gents, and it is working so very well. Their horses, their quality, their cavalry, their archery prowess from the Nimrodel Mariners, I mean all of it is for naught because we have nullified their advantages and turned them against them. And they start running. Always a lovely time. Didn't look like a pony to me, but alright. Okay, good. Uh, take them out, please. Yeah, we certainly shall. No, you have them? Okay. Crossbowmen, be at ease. Remember it as the day of our most glorious victory. Ha! <laughs> not entirely unexpected, we actually had a lot of work done by the towers. Which is, uh, which is good, but the crossbowmen shined as well. So, wonderful, wonderful stuff, and worthy of the R. Adonaiim indeed. Ah, uh, sure, let them uh, get a ransom if they really feel like it. Ah. Uh. And another turn comes our way, and Gondorian navies come our way. Here's the question though, is our, is our navy up to scratch? I think it is. I think we can take them. We have more men, we have more boats, and Admiral Th Sackletor, although um, here he's shown to be incompetent. He should be pretty good. Let's see. Oh! We 
That is not too great. Um, hmm. More ships would actually be very prohibitively expensive. So, hmm. What do... We shall send troops for retraining in Western Ascilius. We shall take on new troops. Coming into a place where we might be able to mount a successful offensive upon these treacherous, treacherous false Numenorians. Hmm. Do we have. I wonder. An air of sorts coming our way. Carbazir. Ooh. It's very close. Maybe just a turn away. Why don't we wait one more turn for him and see what happens? Um, okay. If we do that, we can get. Oh, yes, we can get uh, some Aprasanum units in there. And some of those. And, um,. Hmm. Cavalry, why don't we? How about here? Over on the Western Front? Um, hmm. Pelagia is coming along nicely. But of course, time will be needed. Brotherhood of True Sons sits in Western Skinnius, which is fine. And here, Azrebel governs Eastern Skinnius competently. Let's set Mundamir further on his merry, merry way toward the Shire. And Sakrakor. Allied to Dol Amroth, which is very annoying. Let's see where these lads live. Oh, they probably won't say that. Nope. Okay, well, I have a general idea of where they are, I suppose. Let's go speak to the Haradrim. Oh, hello, Kanarkish. Hmm. Man, Dol Amroth has expanded really, really far. So, we must take into account their power and influence. Um, they might even have spread down here into, I mean, uh, into places like Gobel Mirland, and I suppose, um, yeah, let's yes. set Sacra Court to investigate. Tomorrow's journey planned out, my lord. And then, if we find some Haratram along the way, we can then talk to them. I have not taken her to no. Well, no. I did not. <laughs> That's all I've got to say to that, really. Um, what's the skill yet? What should we get? Um, Dark Temple would be nice, but I do also think we will need to emphasize our economy. So let's go for a leather worker. Continue to build out that infrastructure. Um, let's go for communal farming in the Skidith, where we can also start to level up the taxes and get a bit more money. Cassast, uh, what did you get? You've got a land clearance, and you know, let's just continue down that path. And Brethiel, you can continue on the Dark Shrine. That's good, that's good, that is good. Um, 
How is that army looking? Oh yes, coming into its own with nice armor and all that jazz. At your service. Hmm. Hello, Mundamir. Can you find something valuable on the way Turning just to on. tide us over for one turn? Kinda, maybe. On my way. Opening a new trade lane, my liege. Hmm. It's not the most valuable thing in the world, but it'll do for now. You know, every little bit helps. Uh, and so... We will need to take some of these forces that we have amassed and put them to good use. Hmm, let's send the Nudge Tarek from here, down there, and actually, yes, uh, we'll probably have to pull Azrabel out of Skidiath, although his management of that place is earning him a lot of good credit. There we go. And then take these, 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 and these. Oh yes. Actually. Um You know what, let's take these as was a year units and pop them in there. We can take these for better units and pop them in there. Uh along with um and crossbows. Now this is looking like a pretty good army I think and in one single turn they will be able to strike at Ostathiel. They are hampering our economy a little bit but I think it will be worth it to get these Adol Amroth lunatics out of the game. Well clearly not. Hmm. Yes, my lord. Then we shall take back Ethereum proper. And I think that is it for that turn. But it is also it for this episode. So if you want to see where Azrabel he um, embarks upon invasion after invasion and goes to crush Dol Amroth, then you shall have to wait for the next one. I have been Captain Total Waffle, and I wish you a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Have a good one, and see you around. Captain Total Waffle, out.